We've been bringing you stories all week leading up to the first anniversary of Japan's disaster in our series, Lessons of March 11th, One Year On. The magnitude 9 earthquake triggered a tsunami and nuclear crisis. More than 15,000 people died and about 3,300 others are still missing. Government officials are still wrestling with how to satisfy Japan's energy needs. They're reviewing their approach to nuclear power. As they do, some businesses are trying to provide alternatives. NHK World's Chie Yamagishi has more. While Japan's future energy policy remains in limbo, momentum has been growing among companies to start renewable energy businesses. One of them is the so-called mega solar business. Mega solar refers to power plants that generate more than 1,000 kilowatts of solar power. Japan's third largest cell phone carrier, SoftBank, is among the first to announce a plan to branch out into this business after last year's catastrophe. That's because its cell phone system didn't work for a while after the disaster as the quake and tsunami crippled power supplies. The nuclear plant accident also prompted SoftBank chairman Masayoshi Song to decide to look for alternative energy sources. I'd like to build a model case on how to use natural sources of energy. I hope that our entry into the renewable energy business will encourage many more companies to follow. Last December, SoftBank built three experimental solar power facilities in Hokkaido in northern Japan. Future plans include construction of more than 10 mega solar plants capable of producing more than 200 megawatts in total. SoftBank's move comes ahead of upcoming changes in the country's power industry. Beginning in July, the government plans to require utilities to buy all electricity generated by renewable energy sources at fixed prices and for certain periods of time. Those prices and durations are to be set in spring. The industry will not expand if power companies are going to lose money. The purchase prices must be high enough and the durations long enough for small or local businesses to decide to join. A financial institution has also decided to help promote use of renewable energy and support energy-saving efforts by private homes. Jonan Shinkin Bank ranks second among credit unions in Japan in terms of deposits. It has switched to LED lighting to save energy. It has also changed as energy supplier for a company that doesn't use nuclear power. For buyers of energy-saving equipment like solar panels, LED and storage cells, the credit union had started a high-interest time deposit service and a loan service with no interest in the first year. I admire the union for going ahead with this instead of just kicking the idea around. I can see how serious they are. I am tempted to use their system. I am well aware of the formidable risk that nuclear power generation could ruin Japanese society. As a company, we have to do something. We should effectively assess the situation to make drastic changes to our energy policy. Today, the government finds itself under pressure to respect and respond to corporate efforts to spread the use of alternative energy. Many Japanese people are behind them. They think it's time for the government to make changes. Chie Yamagishi, NHK World. Mm, well, there's still support for nuclear power generation. For instance, K Dunnan, Japan's big business group, is calling for its continuation. But consensus for the promotion of the use of renewable energy has been rapidly growing one year after the disaster. The question now is how much the government can reflect this public opinion in its future energy policy.